Hey there, in this Photoshop tutorial I will show you how to cut out a person from the background and change that background. We will use this picture for this tutorial and this is the original image that I used and this is the result. You can see I changed the background to, to something, well, to another solid color but you can also change that with any other picture that you want and you can see we kept uh, most of the, of the hair. So I want to show you how I did this. The first thing you want to do is create a duplicate of your image and we will use the refine edge and also a blend mode because this image was took on a dark gray background so we can take advantage of that and use a blend mode to recover part of the hair because you can see the hair is quite bright um, compared to the background okay so I created this copy here which I will name masked you can uh, use two uh, tools for this. I will use the magic wand tool because the first thing we want to do is make a rough selection and you can use either the magic wand or the quick selection for this uh, particular image uh, I'll set a tolerance of 20 and with the uh, magic wand uh, I made some testing and uh, it worked pretty well so it's a lot easier than using, well, it's a lot quicker than using the the quick selection tool, but you can use uh, any tool that you want. Of course, we want to refine this. Even though it's a rough selection, um, the better the selection it is, of course, the less work you will have on the refine edge uh, when we'll use the refine edge. So uh, take care of all the details here and make sure every detail is selected you can use multiple selection tools just make sure the the edges are well selected as well do your best okay that's okay there don't care too much about the hair in fact uh, I will in fact I will deselect parts of the hair because I don't want that I only want to select the bigger chunks of hair not the flying ones we will leave those for the refined edge so do something like what I'm doing here like that and also exclude these areas from our selection just keep this big parts. When I used the magic wand tool I had the contiguous option selected. Okay so this is my rough selection. Okay so what I will do next is on this top layer I'll create the layer mask. If I deactivate everything um, you can see the layer the layer mask is inverted so I'll press Control command I to, to invert it and now I'll right click on the layer mask and choose refine mask. If we change the view to black and white, you can see how the edges look. We want to sharpen them a bit and make them a bit smoother and make them look uh, better. We will we'll make this on two stages. First, we will take care of the easy edges, so to say, and then we will take care of the hair. So we will start with the adjust edge. We have four settings here. Um, the smooth will help you. You can see this bump here and this um, well, the, the sharp corners usually uh, to make them smoother. If I increase this, you will see how this uh, becomes a lot smoother. Uh, I don't want to increase it that much because I'll also use the feather. The feather will make the transition a lot softer, as you can see here. Uh, so what you do is usually, um, usually what I do is increase the feather a bit and then with the contrast, make it sharper again. With the shift edge, Sometimes I'll change the view to uh, on white. Sometimes you see a pixel or two, uh, a line across, well, along these edges from the original background. So what you do is shift the edge and you'll shrink the selection and get rid of that. This is too much, so I'll leave it to about 15 or something like that. Reduce the feather and reduce the contrast as well. We don't want to lose too much of that. Um, of that edge. I think this will work. 
let's take a look around here. See this dark edge? If I shift the edge even more, I will get rid of it. Okay, so my edges are okay. Um, I will change the output to new layer with layer mask because if I were to take care of the hair right now, because I have these settings here, uh, I would not be able to recover the hair. So I will create a new layer with layer mask, click OK. And now I'll right click again on the new layer mask and choose refine mask. And now we will use the um, edge detection and we will paint here like that over the f those flying hairs that we left out when we created the selection. And we will wait for Photoshop to do its job and recover these hairs. See that? On a white background is not really that it's not looking that nice, but uh if you set this to on layers, um you could see the the layers below, but right now I cannot choose it because these other layers are um are not active. Okay, so I'll leave this to white. When you're dealing with hair, always uh, try to look at it on the new background that you want to to add. Right now, I forgot to activate the background layers. That's why it's not visible, but um, we will do that in a second. Okay, so uh, these are all the hairs that Photoshop could recover for me. Here as well okay and you can also use the smart radius uh, if you increase this you'll see how Photoshop tries to detect the edges even better and do a better job but uh, the more you increase this the more you will start to see the original background so I'll leave it like that I will not choose the decontaminate colors this is to eliminate uh, you can see here we have a semi-transparent area is to remove the color cast from the original background and make it match with the new background but we will leave it like that I'll choose layer mask here on the output and click OK and we'll wait for Photoshop to do its job and we are done uh, I'll activate the background group so you can see the result uh, you can see we have recovered some of the of the hairs around there uh, well the selection here is not really um, perfect but uh, what I want to show you is how to work with the hair so uh, what I would do now is since I have this original layer here let's drag this under here I can activate it and I have this dark gray and I want this background to go away but keep the hair so I could use the overlay blend mode or also the soft light blend mode and you can see that I recovered more hair okay and that looks better the problem now is that the image became darker so what I could do is use a hue saturation or levels for example we control L to make this brighter if I zoom to 100% uh, you can see I can make this brighter and uh, I'll keep the hair and make that background a bit brighter okay and you can see you can see the result I kept all well, most of the hair and with this original layer I I recovered even more so that's how I uh, cut out people from background using the refined edge and blend modes